All right, it is the other of every other week, and that means that it is time to play some Heroes of Might and Magic. And uh, we're going to stick with scenarios for now. I've had some people ask me why I'm not playing the campaign, and uh, there are a variety of reasons, but I think that the scenarios are a better episodic way for me to just kind of learn via the game. Ah, Furio, I love to hear it. I, I get that a lot. To be, to be honest, there are a lot of people that get very excited. Now, the scenario I was told to play is something to do with chopping trees, if I recall correctly. But it might start with an L for lumber. And Lustrous is going to remind me, but I'm going to see if I can, if I can remind myself all, all on my own. Doesn't look like I can. I thought it was like chop. Uh, the one that you recommended most recently was the one that I was planning to go for. I guess I, I could also look at map sizes, and that would probably narrow it down. We're going for a medium map this week. Rumble in the bogs with allies sounds, uh, sounds like something. But fairies, I think, was one of the ones that we said we could do. But then there was a second one. I'm going back to the Discord. Please hold. Let's see. Hatchet, axe, and saw. There we go. Of course. I was so close. I knew it was lumber related. But so we're going to go with uh, we're going to go with our first medium map. Uh, it it appears that we are being offered let's go to advanced options. We're being asked to play as Inferno. Oh, and it doesn't look like this one we have a choice in the matter. Looks like we have to start as as Inferno. That's good. We learned a bit about Inferno before. Uh, and then we can pick our starting hero if we so desire. We can play as Rampart 2. I would like to switch to Rampart then for diversity's sake. But what is the... Ah! That button there. Okay, cool. And then, then we'll let ourselves be a random hero. We're going to stay on night difficulty. And uh, this is a... Flag all creature dwellings is the victory condition. Interesting. Okay. So we'll probably we'll probably go ahead and try to first eliminate the enemy, and then once we have eliminated the enemy, we'll go ahead and and do that. Now I know nothing about Rampart, so we're gonna have a bit of a a bit of experimentation to do. But let's uh, let's get rocking and or rolling. The minions of the dark, fiery Inferno have been moving against the world for some time now, and they have been consuming all they survey with no regard for conservation. Now they are beginning to run out of lumber. Our spies have learned that the shadowy alchemists of the Inferno plan to harvest the supple, sturdy flesh of dendroids. You must raise your armies and march against the Dark Lord's invading rain region. Uh, to save the dendroid villages along the banks of this river. Good luck, and may the light of heaven shine upon thee. There have been some games like Might and Magic, but I think no one has become as popular. Uh, I think that, th that it, the devil is in the details, from what I've heard, uh, Nashif. There is a surprising amount of depth to this. Oh man, we have two... We have two of these. Interesting. Huh. Okay, so this is... The, we get centaurs and dwarves initially. So my gut feeling here is that we probably want to, as soon as possible, get a second hero to defend over here. Because otherwise someone's just going to come in and, and scoop it up. 
Uh, and this is Heroes of Might and Magic, even though I, I rarely play that way. So let's let's look in the in the inn. See who we have on on tap. We have a level one druid and a level one necromancer. I think the druid is of the appropriate type. Basic eagle eye, though, I don't think is great. Basic wisdom is okay. But maybe if we had an archer he archery heavy build, we could do that. I'm I'm right clicking like crazy uh, in lustrous. I'm right clicking like crazy. Although the the right click and hold thing means that I can't right click on eagle eye to see what it does. Um, but I think okay. So let's let's see. So if I come over here, so we can. We can build one upgrade. So okay, so we're gonna have we're gonna have eventually have uh, wood elves, centaurs, Pegasus people, dendroids, and unicorn gales, and then eventually we might get some dragons. Yeah, I've I've heard it, but I'd like to know what it does in Lustrous. I've heard people say that it's bad, but I'm trying to decide if it's bad in all contexts or not. Uh, does this tavern? This was the tavern here. Okay, this tavern has the same people. So we could wait for next time to pick up a hero, potentially. I don't think anyone's grabbing us first go around. So let's see. So let's look at what we have. You get a percent chance to learn spells that your enemies use in combat. Oh, that is not at all what I thought it would be. Uh, let's see. So I, I kind of feel like Town Hall is a good first upgrade just to get our cash flow flowing. But I'd also really like to get wood elves going. Let's see. So this is this is a thousand gold per day. How expensive is it? 2500. So it pays for itself pretty quickly. So I think I'm going to I'm going to grab the town hall first. And I'm gonna grab. Let's let's recruit the people that we have to recruit before before we head out. But I think I think we have some time, so I'm gonna I'm gonna grab this lumber mill, and that looks like that's gonna be our turn. Now over here, I can still build another house, and it it strikes me as. Maybe we go double town hall here. Just to get just to get our cash flow going. We spent about 10k, but in seven turns that will have that will have paid for itself. Now, I am going to buy some people to hold on one second. I forgot my water earlier. I am going to buy some people just so that we have some defenses here, but we're going to wait for a recruit of opportunity that is good. Uh, and that will be our first turn. Then let's see. Now over here, I think there's there's an interesting question of if we should... Oh, let's see. Does the tavern... When does the tavern... Looks like the tavern refreshes on the week boundary. We can probably hold off until the week but that's going to be a little less ideal. I think I think cash flow. Oh, I didn't even look at our heroes stuff to see what we randomly generated with. Um, I'm going to take cash because I don't know yet how I feel about this hero. So their specialty is armor. So let's see. Reduces damage. Basic leadership. We got some morale chance. Okay, you're you're all right. We'll go up this way, and then I'm just gonna keep grabbing some some items of opportunity, and then I think I'm a little worried about spreading too thin on on things, but I I think we need both of ours to be able to recruit. 
So I'm going to go for the homestead so we can get archers going. And that's going to be basically all of our wood because I'm going to do it at both bases. Tavern refreshes every Monday, aka day of one of every week. Okay, that's kind of what I assumed. Okay, so day two is done here. Yeah, I want to get some of these while the while the getting is good. I am gonna do a level up though. Advanced armor, ten percent, or basic navigation. Basic navigation early feels like it could be very strong. But late game, I think it's going to fall off. So I'm going to do advanced armor. And then now our, our cash flow is a little... Oh, we're actually, we're not doing that bad because we've, we've offset things. But we are... Oh, is navigation water navigation? Got it. Okay. That would be, that would be the problem. Let's see. So Citadel. Miner's Guild. We get four dwarfs per week. These are, this is a reasonably cheap one. So let's, let's get it while we're kind of leveling up. We could go different paths here, but. But we'll start out with that. Oh, Blade has ravaged this area. The Druids report that some of the rot has infested the trees. So I'm glad I spent all my wood. We'll take the money. Who are you? 10 to 19 engineers. The, the fact that this doesn't tell me the tiers of units is inexcusable, I, I still think. We have 36 centaurs. We got a few archers, not that many. Engineers are a tier two creature. We'll we'll hold off then, I guess. Let's reveal some more map. Knolls may be more our speed right now. Lizard men we don't want to mess with, but we'll we'll go with them next time. Now let's see. We are out of we're out of wood. So finding lumber mills is going to be quite important, I think. Dendroid arch arches allow you to recruit dendroid guards. Let's I want to see what the the dendroids do. They look like they do have a ranged attack? No, maybe not. Yeah, I don't know how I'm supposed to see what types of attacks they have. I know the Wood Elves have a range. Dendroids are melee. Yeah, how do I know that from the UI, though? I think that's the question that I'm asking. Okay, so, so every faction only has one ranged unit, and it's the one that shows up in this box. Okay. Let's uh let's do our citadel upgrades. All right. Uh do you want to pursue and engage them? Do we get more experience if we pursue and engage them? I don't actually know what this choice means in the grand scheme of things. Okay, so some have more shooters, got it. Yeah, so do I get more experience if I do this or should I just... If you let them go, you avoid combat but earn no XP. Okay, we'll, we'll take some XP. We lost three centaurs, that's fine, but let's let's do it ourselves. That's what we're here for.
Good roll there. Was unexpected. Okay, there we go. So, slightly better result for having done the work ourselves. Right now, we're sitting okay on gold. It's other resources that are the most problematic, I think, for us. Expert armor. All right, we'll, we'll go for it. I'll grab a bit of gold. I do want to prepare for our next... What is this? What are you? A red portal two ways. Okay. I kind of feel like someone could sneak in and, uh, and snipe us via that, but... But let's see. Mystic Pond, is this the Mage Tower? We only have enough for one of these, so I want to do it at this base first, I think. I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab the Mystic Pond here. Cause it, it may start generating wood, and I think that's probably the most important resource that we could get. And then over here. What's our crystal supply? We have 10 crystals. The dendroids are only gold. So let's grab that and let's... Let's see a man about some dendroids. Re-enter using spacebar. Good tip. Oops. So, so you're saying I can go here just to see what's going on a pendant of death wearing this item renders your units immune to the destroy undead spell doesn't seem super useful what is what is this garrison okay it's got some stuff in it there's like a there's like a mine over here that Maybe I want to claim just for... Uh, looks like I have to fight something. Uh, let's just go back in. For now. And then we've done all this, so let's do that. Now, I thought that the Mystic Pond was our Mage Tower equivalent. Because reading is hard, uh, obviously. The Mage's Guild requires wood. Okay, so that's going to be the problem. But let's get these... Let's get more Dendroids... And then over here. Increased Android guard protection by two per week. For 2,000, right now we're... We could also look at an, uh, some upgrades, but we're, we're super starved on... We're super starved on, on wood at the moment. For, for being in a forest, there's some... The irony is not entirely lost on me. Let's go fight the goblins. We'll try and we'll try and do better. Wow. 
Nice hit from the, uh... Nice hit from the dwarf. Not, not messing around. Okay. Slightly better result. We're, I feel like we're, we're improving. So let's see. I, I like the idea of getting some cash flow going right now. Mercenary camp, plus one attack once per hero. We should go do that. That's a good... Let's uh let's come down here and get all this stuff going. Oh, there's ca lots of cash in the middle. Yeah, bad speed. That, uh, that makes sense to me. So let's see. So you... Let's grab let's grab the dendroid upgrade and then see what's the cost. Yeah, get the get the upgraded dendroids. And then you're you're one behind, so Do you want to upgrade our dendroids? What is the Fountain of Fortune? Ooh. Fountain of Fortune increases the luck of the garrison hero by plus two when defending against a siege. Maybe in the future, but I don't think that's what we need right now. I like the dendroid up upgrades just because they don't have a wood requirement. So I'm going to grab that and we're going to do our upgrade on these guys. Okay, cool. So now, now we get to do lots of, lots of recruitment. Hopefully. Oh, we should look in the, look at the tavern before we before I spend all our money. Level one ranger, with basic resistance and basic pathfinding, specialty unicorns. I think we just need another hero, so I am going to recruit them. They seem they seem good enough. And then the marketplace requires wood. We don't have enough wood. We're gonna have to find some wood to get to get our elves going. It's wood for all the upgrades. So we may be we may be stymied here for the moment. Cause I, I kinda wanna save up our wood. Yeah, so we're gonna do, we're gonna do recruitment. Yeah, for now we'll just grab more archers. Yeah, they, they're wood hungry. Oh, and then, so now Clancy, let's get you out. Let's get some level ups going for you. Basic archery, basic archery increases the damage done by ranged attack, attacking creatures by 10%. I like basic archery. Basic resistance also looks pretty good. Oh, there's a lot of wood out here. I should have probably noticed that. Let's get some cash flow going. Okay. That was a that was a good turn for for us, I feel like. Bird of Perception. It increases eagle eye skill, finally. Okay, we got plus one attack skill there. And then we also picked up some additional capabilities here. Let's grab... The centaurs are relatively cheap. I, I shouldn't have left that base fully undefended, but... Now, these riverbanks... Oh, you can get in here. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
ran out of uh, ran out of movement a little early there. What are you? Gremlins. Halflings? Uh, yes, we will engage them. We will we will do this work ourselves. Hmm, we're gonna take some hits just because they are ranged units, it seems. This explains why the centaurs died. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna try that again. See, I don't I don't like losing an archer though. And that's what happens if we wait. So I think we're better off having the archer having the the centaur tank. Okay, that happens regardless. Maybe if maybe if I posture aggressively here, we'll get better. Yeah, okay. We get better targeting this way. Although my pathing could not have been much worse. All right, I'm just gonna call. I'm gonna call it with nine centaurs. It was not pretty. Okay, so we picked up some money, which means we can continue improving things. I think up. I think upgraded range unit is the play here. The question is which which one do we do it at? I think we do it at this one. We do have we do have quite a bit of wood. But let's let's get our range units up. Range units early especially seem quite strong. So we could get our mage guild. Let's, let's see what we're rocking for mage guilds. Magic arrow bless view air view earth dispel. Magic arrow is good to have. Hey, thank you, Alex. Thank you. I'm just going to pick up a few more centaurs. How cheap are you guys? You're really cheap. All right, let's just buy. Oh, no, that was not the full. That was not the full stack. All right. Advanced leadership or basic earth magic. We do like basic earth magic, but I think now we know the spells in our mage tower and we know them to not be particularly good. And advanced leadership is is morale, which which we know is quite strong. Now we've already gone there. I think that means we're we're gonna beat feet back to here to pick up more stuff. We're gonna claim this. And it looks like we can't go this way. I'm trying to remember what tier gremlins are. I mean, it's a lumber mill, so I think we, I think we commit to it. Ah, uh, yes, we will. All right, I want to do it myself, so. <laughs> If we're going to have a great victory, I want it to be uh I want it to be my own great victory. There we go. Great success. 
We can't make it. We can't make it there in time. We can't make it there in time. We... Now, if we get a second mage's guild, does that do us much good? I'm going to get the dendroid... The dendroid upgrade there. But we're, we're now broke. So I'm just going to chill. Okay, guess I should have spent my wood. The lessons we learn. Every mage's guild has its own set of spells that it rolls. Okay, so that could be that could be worth doing then. I'm gonna save I'm gonna save my money for the moment. So let's see. So City Hall right now, we need to we need to get our blacksmiths going. So let's let's do our blacksmiths. Oh, we're too broke to do this blacksmith, but we, we need a marketplace too. So we'll do the marketplace over here. We'll get one blacksmith and one marketplace just to further confuse us. And we'll get a few more dwarves. So we'll claim this. Pendant of Holiness. Wearing this item renders your unit immune to curse spells. Seems like it could be good. Okay, we got another two-way monolith over here. One more level up can't hurt, right? Uh, advanced resistance. Yeah, it's, it's okay. So we can do this, look at what's on the other side, and then come back with the space bar now. Okay, we'll chill out with that. And then you... Have I, have I resupplied to my liking? I'm not sure who we want. I kind of want to split this and leave half here and do this. Yeah, let's do that. And then I think we're going to go back to the... Well, there's there's this stuff up here. The lizard men we know to be just a, a huge pain in the butt. Um, well, we'll go over this way. We're coming up on, on week number two. I've already visited the Fountain of Youth. Let's uh, let's see what's. Let's do a little. So this garrison has like petrified things in it. It appears. You can't walk down here, so that's not connected. Magogs. They're ranged enemies. Well, that's just, that's just showboating in Lustrous. Ooh. That's not, that's not, these guys are a little more, I was expecting to do more damage that way. Yeah, so I, I should have... I should have waited. But I think that's still better than what they offer me. We'll try it one more time. Ah, so it's attack count two. Okay, got it. We'll wait. Oh, they have AoE. All right, we don't want to do that. We do want to move our centaur. Just so that we don't get we don't get hit with splash damage. Our centaur is going next, so we can lock down the sky this way. Okay. Yeah, I think that's about the best we're gonna get. Expert leadership, morale by three, or basic sorcery. 
Hero spells to inflict an additional 5% damage. We're not really spell slinging yet, and expert leadership seems like it's going to be uh, pretty a pretty solid acquisition. Can I come over this way? I can. Well, wait. I was going to do... Oh, we'll get the knowledge first. And then we'll go to, like, cl the cloudy region here. Who are you guys? Dwarves? We'll, we'll come up this way. There is also a plus one attack there. Okay, so I'm now I'm on. Let me grab let me grab the blacksmith here. So we're getting things set up. And then it was over here. We we built the marketplace. So we No, we didn't build the marketplace. Okay, we need some wood before we can build the marketplace. There's not really any upgrades we can do there. But I will pick up the dendroids there. And then whatever we can get for for dwarves, I'll grab there. Okay, everybody's done their movement, so we're good. We'll collect the sulfur mine. What's the quest guard? There's a bunch of treasure down here. Let's get this first, though. And then we'll come back to that. And then these guys, we shouldn't have a problem with them. How in the world... Oh my god, this cloud... This cloud thing is amazing. I, I am baffled by the idea that we're not going to be able to solo this. Oh, I guess we don't have our upgraded archers yet here. Three to four means we might take. All right, there we go. Quest card gives quests. Interesting. All right, we're gonna get some get some mercury going. Could have come down here and gotten those gems, but let's see. We're at four wood. We're one wood short of uh, of the amount of wood I would like us to have. Let me get the last two dendroids over here, and let's get all the dwarves there. I, I want to max out my, my unit consumption, collection, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. I think level ups are actually no. Let's let's get some cash. We'll pick we'll pick up one level up or one attempted level up. Advanced basic water magic or advanced pathfinding reduces the movement penalty for rough terrain. I'm gonna go basic water magic. It's weird to me, like, that I, I have not seen any of the uh, of the enemy faction as of yet. So we have 5k gold and 8 wood. You... We can get a city hall upgrade. Yeah, I think we do that. That's all our money, though. I think we still do it. Let's, let's get... Let's invest in our futures. And then over here. Oh, we still have enough for the marketplace. Perfect. Okay. My resource management was on point. Okay. So let's see. So more archers. Mm, we can't get the upgraded archers over here. That would be... Once we get a bit more wood... Assuming our wood doesn't get scooped out from under us, that would be, I think, the best upgrade we could grab. And then we'll grab as many of those as we can. What 
do we got here? Lots of semen? I want to, I want to do it myself. I'm a simple man. Oh, I missed the AI showing up. Pendant of Total Recall. That sounds promising. Replay enemy turn. Which one is that? I, I have never clicked a button and felt like it helped so little. Uh, that's a that's a triumph for the game. Uh, ooh, do they they wish to join? Come on in, kids. Pendant of Life seems like something I might want to scoot over and grab. Then we got a thousand gold to spend here. And seven wood. So we've got a city hall here. And the thing we're missing, no, we, oh, well, we have a city hall at the other one. We don't have a city hall there, and that's because we're missing what? Requires mage guild level one, which requires wood. Oh, money. Okay. All right. We'll we'll try and get the mage guild asap. Oh, that guy just popped out of the red portal. So my theory is that this, this pendant of total recall is going to allow us to totally recall. Wearing this item renders your unit immune to forgetfulness spell. Okay, that's the wrong kind of recall. Very cool. Plus two attack or defense, one per visit. Oh, that's that's a tough one. You're not that strong. Gonna take the money. So I'd like to, I'd like to get our, our capitals a little more upgraded. Tier four earth spell. Okay, that makes sense. Should I recruit vampire lords? I don't think so. Now the pendant of life, on the other hand, immune to death ripple. Finally. Ooh, ooh, this is a good, this is a good shortcut back. All right. But now this this place here, we're gonna we're gonna get some more defenses going. Even though I wanted to get, well, I still want to get the. Is it the Mage's Guild that we need here? Yeah, we'll get the Mage's Guild. Hey, Zwerg, how's it going? Oh, what do, what do we have here? We have haste, stone skin, slow, and shield. Okay, so we we did much better on spells here.